Hey guys, Joshua Gadamu here with another custom Gundam MSI review, and today I'm reviewing my Desert Commander Zaku. Um, this was a Shar Zaku 2, the uh, pink version, or salmon, or whatever color you want to pretend that it is other than pink. But, you know, there's already a name for lightish red. Pink. And uh, I have the Shar's red release one. Um, the re-release, so, you know, it's kind of like, oh man, my collection's getting big, really big. I gotta, you know, make room, slash, make more customs, so, you know, you gotta replace. Otherwise, you know, I'd have my pink version standing next to it, you know, and you could admire the difference. But, um, this was him, so, not really doable. Basically, you can see it's the same Zaku, only I've geared him up for combat, and uh, he has this nice desert tan color. You know, I like the camouflage Zaku, it's nice and all, but, you know, it doesn't really strike me as... I mean, it's desert camouflage, and at the same time, in 0080 you had these Zakus that were this color-ish, you know, and it was like, man, I want some of those. So I made one. Yeah! Complete with custom, uh logos and things like that so you got a nice big xeon decal there and one here and a mso 6s you can see he's pretty much just that one color he's still got the little details here the little arrows and the you know caution danger sign on the feet not sure if you can read those but you know so he comes with this missile pods he has this machine gun which i modded with the uh grenade launcher thing from the garadoga's rifle Thought, uh, you know, the version 2 Zaku 2s and the Dom version 2s had, uh, grenade launchers on their, on their machine guns. I thought, the version 1 Zaku deserves that too. You know what I mean? It just, it deserves it. He deserves it. Another little custom modification I made was I had a, a camphor whip that had, uh, seen better days and come apart. Let me tell you, once those things come apart more than once, you know, like, as in there's, like, three or four parts that are apart from each other it's kind of madness to get it back together you're better off just turning it into mines which is super cool so you can see i have the uh non-deployed mine right here you can see the holes where it used to be on the whip because uh, i'm too lazy to fill them in and i just super glued that on there and uh it works quite nicely you can see that there's a nice clearance for the arm there and so he stores one there he could store two and i really debated you know sticking two of them there but i thought no it would look super cool if he was holding one you know to like slap onto the back of a mobile suit enemy mobile suit or you know put on a door or something or you know we're gonna go blow up this wall so you know then we have some sticky tack boop <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Maybe he'll throw it like a grenade. I don't know. But uh, he has it. And he's not afraid to use it. Comes with a standard heat hawk. Um, probably be good to drill out both sides. His torso is more brown than uh, tan. So it's just a slightly darker color variant than the rest of him. As you can see, kind of like a Garma Zabi in some ways. And uh, this is the grenade... Launcher, Sturmfaust, whatever, from uh, the Garadoga, and the thing that held it from the Garadoga. I just glued that on there, onto the side of the backpack. These are um, knockoff Zaku-1 gas grenades. I kind of like the green color. I've yet to use them, because how often do you use gas grenades? I mean, seriously, you know, when you're playing with these figures, you're like, machine gun, bazooka, extra large bazooka. You're not like, hey, dude, take the gas grenades, because these aren't going to hurt another mobile suit. But, um... Yeah, I thought, hey, let's equip this guy for everything. Let's give him some green gas grenades. And uh, I took a... Sometimes I I get lots where somebody uh, customized their Zaku machine gun, which, you know, I, I don't fault customizing. I mean, here I am, revealing a, or reviewing a custom. But not every custom comes out well. And not all of mine come out well either, so, you know... Um, Anyways, I took the little piece off, I cut the gun, because it had already been cut up, and uh, took the ammo clip and stuck it there, and you can see I cut slits in the skirt for flexibility with arm, or leg pop-off action. <laughs> and, uh, whoop, dropped our mine. I want to stick this back, no, I'll stick it back on later. There's one other thing I want to cover in the review, and that is the arm. 
Um, have you ever looked at your Zaku 1s and seen like this great flexibility in the arm and you're like, why can't the Zaku 2 do that? Why? Why? Well, I, uh, okay, that's not true. My wife figured out how to do it. And it wasn't by replacing joints at all. If you look in here, come on camera, focus, focus, no, okay. I think that's pretty clear. You know how you like, uh, sometimes have spare parts of your MSIA or whatever, the figure that you don't like or it's broke or whatever. Um, you take a thin slice of plastic off something and then you put it inside this armhole. Just drop it in there, no need to super glue it. You pop it on the figure and it kind of keeps the arm from going so far on and it gives it this really nice shoulder articulation that you only wish it had. Um, it's really, really great. Um, I don't think I have it in, no, I have it in this one. This one's just a smaller piece. And uh, it's not coming out, so I was going to show you what it's like without it. But let me tell you, it's more like this. <laughs> and you're like, why can't the arm go out? Why can't the arm go out? But you put that little piece of plastic in. Oh, yeah. Brand new articulation. Well, that got kind of long, but uh, I really like this guy. I want to use him at Odessa um, during Gundam Father of Peace Episode 3, which will hopefully be at Odessa. And hopefully my health will get well enough so that I can keep filming and animating. Well, if you're looking for Gundam MSI action figures or customs, make sure to check out our store, Gundams R Us, your favorite arms dealer. There's a link down below in the more info area. And uh, we get new stuff all the time, including occasionally a custom of mine that uh, was super cool, but I wanted to share with the world. Let me know what you think of this guy. What's your favorite Zaku? Catch you guys later.